Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Motherwood here. In this video today we're going to talk about the fill command. I like to use this command when I'm making these tutorials for you guys because it helps me set up the world nice and easy. But if you happen to be in a creative world and you are yeah, building a structure, it'll also help you just um, slap it together nice and quick. Uh, so for those anyone who's in a hurry, I'll just put some little jump points around me now. Uh, first of all, I'll just run through a few little tips and and useful information about the command before you get started. Then we'll move on to the destroy command, hollow command, the keep command, outline command, and finally the replace command. So yeah, if you if you want to jump straight to those go on ahead otherwise I'll head on into the video right now so just thought I'd start off with a few tips and tricks and just some information about the fill command um, just to let you know that the default mode for the fill command is replace and that swaps out all, all the blocks in that area with the block that you've chosen but uh, there's also more to the replace command so I'll run you through that a little bit later so just remember that the default mode is replace and the other way is just how to put your blocks down um, I was on reddit the other day and some people didn't know this but um, how I usually put them down instead of using F3 say writing down the coordinates and then then going to the to your other point writing down those coordinates and typing them in it's quite simple especially if you know where the blocks are going to go so if i want to fill this little pad here from there to there it's as simple as just looking at the block going into your command so we'll start fill and all you need to do is press tab space tab space tab and that fills in your XYZ coordinates. Now what you can do is just press enter on that. It, you know, it, it will fail. It will say you need to do all this stuff for it to work. Next go to your other block. Go into your command. Press the up arrow which brings up the last command. And then space tab, space tab, space tab. So now you've got your coordinates for both those blocks. And all you need to type now is fill with the block of your choice. And there you have it. So that's an easy way to do it, and that's what I use the most. All right, the destroy command is up first. So, but what I'll quickly do is fill this area with something we can destroy. So I'll do that by using the method I just did in the last video. So I've got my two blocks. Fill. Tab space tab. Enter that. Tab and I want to fill it with logs, but I don't want it to be flat, so I want it to be a four high structure. So I'll go up to 19 and we'll fill that with logs. Nice, all right. So the destroy command, when it's run and it, the blocks are replaced in that structure, will drop entities. So I'm going to use the same command and instead of logs have glass and zero which is very important otherwise the command won't work and we'll type in destroy and a bit of lag on my computer but you can see that the wood that the logs have turned to entities to pick up and that is the destroy command. The hollow command. The hollow command is good if you just want to make a well a hollow box. Um, it will create a a outline around the around the area that you've indicated, and the hollow blocks on the inside will be filled with air. So the, that command is simply uh, we'll go glass again 
So let's fill in your coordinates, glass, and we'll go, actually we'll go stained glass. And we'll go number four. That's the different colors. And hollow. There you go. So you can see that there's a hole in the middle there around the outside edges and we've got one gap on top. So if you're looking to make a, a box like that, hollow command is the one to use. And just remember, anything on the inside will be filled with air and destroyed. The keep command is pretty cool. Uh, the keep command will, in your selected area, it will keep all the blocks except for air blocks and it will fill those air blocks with the block that you choose. So if we go in the command line again, we'll get rid of this. So that's our same coordinates, but instead of stained glass, we will put in redstone blocks. Remember the zero, especially if there's no other, no other blocks, and keep. So you see what's done there, the hollow bit in the middle, that was the only air blocks in my selection, have been filled with redstone blocks. So hollow's second cousin is what the outline command could probably be explained as. Uh, the outline command will outline your selection, but what makes it different from the hollow command is that it will not fill the inside blocks with air. If I was to run the hollow command on this selection now, the redstone blocks would disappear, but if I use outline, and we'll just do stained glass, pick a different color, and we'll go outline. You can see the redstone blocks stayed. You can do that command again, let's change the color. Eight. There we go. So yeah, if you, uh, it's probably best to use the outline command if you're going to actually encase something and you don't want to destroy what's on the inside. So last but not least, the replace command. Um, so you can see I've set up a little structure here. I've got the lapis blocks in the corner and the redstone in the middle. Now I'm still using the same selection that I've been using throughout the video. Um, now what this command does will, is let you replace one block with another. So hopefully I'll show you how to replace the lapis blocks with iron blocks. So we'll start off with the same coordinates. So you want to start with the block you want to replace so I want to put in iron blocks into those corners, so we'll go iron block, zero, replace, and then the block that you that is currently there and you don't want there. So that would be lapis. So we'll go enter on that, iron blocks. So that uh, I guess that's kind of handy if there's a pattern that you've done and um, you don't like it and you want to try something else in your creative world, you can just... Um, do a selection around what you need and just change it to a different block to see what that's like. That be all I have to say on the fill command guys and girls. So yeah, hope, hope you found it useful. If there's anything I've got wrong, please tell me. And if there's any other ways I can help, please feel free to ask down in the comments. It's always good to see comments on my videos. It just means someone's actually watching them. Um, yeah, if you liked it, hit that like button it's always great as well and if you like these videos and think my channel will be able to give you a bit more fodder for your youtube viewing have a look around my channel and see if you like to subscribe all right guys this has been mother wood and we'll see you in the next video bye